in Ann Arbor Public Schools, our motto is Lead, Care, Inspire. And yet in this 2015-16 school year, we focused in on the heart of our organization, which is caring. Over the fall, our staff has hit this out of the park in terms of their daily stories from every school of showing that value of care, reaching beyond what's required or what's expected of them to really amaze. I think it's the little things every day that make students feel welcome in our district. So there was a student who had a a, a sandal blowout, her flip-flops had broken, and so we did our best to piece it back together um, so she could go out the rest of the day. And I didn't really think anything of it after that, but the next day, the student came in. The teacher had gone home, dug in her closet. She had a, the same size of shoe as this student, found her a pair of shoes that she wasn't using, a pair of sneakers, and had given them to the student so that she was, you know, she was strutting around in her her brand new pair of sneakers and she was really excited about it. Several of our kids at our school comes to school without breakfast or sometime without lunch. And our uh, cafeteria lady, Miss Gigi, always provides healthy food, snacks to all of our kids to keep them energized so good they can get through school. She's definitely the unspoken hero at our school. She makes sure that the kids feel they're cared about when they come to the cafeteria. She makes sure that all kids feel special and unique, make sure they feel like they're comfort and feel cared for. So she's kind of like the um, mother to have figure at our school too. We really see here the importance of always being available to our students, even if it's not entirely the most convenient thing to us. Uh, I see staff doing that all the time. We all expect ourselves and each other to be just constantly available to our students, especially outside of school hours. I think that the fact that we're accessible to our students gives them a sense that we're dependable and that we're consistent and that even in the classroom, if we might have to seem kind of harsh or strict about something, that it always comes down to the fact that we care so, so, so much about them and want to be there for them and want to be um, a really sort of like constant in their lives. Every teacher here, I feel, all have that type of caring for every student. They always go above and beyond. Because I work as a TC, I work with different teachers, and I'm always receiving information about what they can do. I think I can work better in this capacity for this particular student, and I'm getting that from a lot of the teachers here in this building. We have a large ESL population, and so we have a lot of students from different countries, and we have an ESL teacher who shows that she cares by providing translators for parent-teacher conferences. She goes above and beyond, makes a sign-up sheet for us so that we can sign up for people to come in to help our parents. I think the parents really appreciate that. I think it shows that we really care about our kids, but we also care about what the parents think and how they are communicating and how comfortable they feel in this community. When my first child was born, I thought, oh my God, you know, parents, all parents feel the way that I do, you know, of the care and the love that you have for your child. And oh my gosh, all these students are someone's baby and I need to treat them like I treat my baby. And um, I just want to be the best teacher, like the teacher that I would expect from my son. That is the teacher I want to be for all these students. I think really being present and in the moment and showing empathy, and by showing empathy, I mean uh, the ability to take the other person's perspective, realize where they're coming from, try to put yourself in their shoes to understand why it is they feel the way they do, devoting your full, undivided attention. And when we do that, we really let kids know that you do care, and that you are listening to them, and you care about them, and you understand what where they're coming from. You understand their set of experiences. And I think really that's the best way to show that you care. Reports and evaluations must get done. Um, the people, and especially kids, just must come first. So I want to thank our staff for their tremendous commitment. It's not just what we do in Ann Arbor. It's who we are. And our staff is that every day. It's in the very DNA of our organization. And we look forward to a beautiful spring semester 2016. And we ask that all of us join together 
to just continue to amaze and inspire through the demonstration, the daily demonstration of that core value of care. My name is Ann Reeder. I'm a media specialist at A2 STEAM and I care. I'm Hiroki Tatsuka. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Logan Elementary and I care. My name is Whitney O'Keefe. I teach social studies at Pathways High School and I care. My name is Tony Brown and I'm a teacher consultant at Huron High School and I care. 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 We care. We care. We care.